All right, before we get into all of the news today, oh my gosh, is there a lot, Nintendo Financial Report, all that, uh, I want to feature a comment uh, from our comment of the day yesterday, our comment question of the day, which was, what are you wearing for Halloween, and uh, why, and all of that jazz, and the comment I picked out, there wasn't a ton of responses, uh, but it came from five uh, and Ty, and he's trying to say sweet and Ty, uh, no, I am not dressing up for Halloween, I will be sleeping in bed naked, thank you. So you sleep naked too. Glad to know I'm not alone. <laughs> All right. Uh, today's comment question of the day is actually going to be also Halloween related. We're going to go with what is your favorite horror game, spooky game, whatever it might be. What's that game that you like to play maybe every year or maybe it's just a, a favorite game you have played during this time period. What is your favorite horror game? I think that's a great question for this holiday season. Now, let's get right into the news. There is so much, uh, and we're going to start by updating Nintendo's top 10 selling games uh, because, oh boy, let's go. All right, so Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is now at 19.01 million units. I, I very likely the Mario Kart, 8, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe will hit 20 million this holiday. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now the, the second best selling game on Nintendo Switch at 15.71 million units. Again, that released last December. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey released all the way back in 2017, and that's at 15.38 million units. By far and away, one of the, like, the best selling uh, 3D mainline Mario game. Uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, by far the best-selling Zelda game, period, at 14.54 million units. It's sold over a million units this fiscal year already, and holy crud, uh, I have a feeling that Breath of the Wild is going to hit 15, 16, 17 million uh, before it's all said and done. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, one of the big holiday titles from last year, is at 11.28 million, and that kind of rounds out the top five. But moving on down, Splatoon 2 is at 9.28 million. Maybe it'll crawl to 10, I don't know, but that is a big bump over the Wii U days when it only sold 6 million. A uh, super Mario Party just churning in at 7.59. It's moved a few million this year. That's excellent. Uh, so new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe has not actually moved a lot since launch. It moved around 4 million at launch and has only moved a few units since. We'll see if it does well this holiday. Super Mario Maker, that was one of the hot titles this summer, one of the big titles for Switch, is already in the top 10 at 3.93 million units. And what's interesting is that Link's Awakening that just released uh, not too long ago is at 3.13 million units and they only have nine days of sales data and Link's Awakening is already in the top 10. Now granted this is a, just top 10 Nintendo published games. This will not include third party games so if any third party games have sold many millions of units like Minecraft Switch Edition probably has that would not appear in this top 10. So this is just Nintendo published games but uh, that's impressive. Uh, it's probably likely going to become the best selling top down Zelda game of all time because right now that title is held, I think, by Phantom Hourglass, uh, about four and a half million or so. So it's probably going to surpass that just this year in the holiday season. And who knows where it's going to go from there. Link's Awakening is clearly uh, riding, I don't know if it's riding the coattails of Breath of the Wild or what's happening there, but there's just a lot of information going on. Uh, and speaking of game sales data, uh, we have to talk about Fire Emblem Three Houses. That was another big release. It's not in the top ten yet it might get there uh, but fire emblem three houses has sold 2.29 million units uh and to give you an idea of fire emblem awakening uh during the same period uh you know that launch period sold 2.28 million or so um and yeah that's uh that, that it beat that this is a huge launch for fire emblem and it's definitely something to keep your eye on uh if you are someone who is Debating on whether or not this is the Fire Emblem game to jump in with. Well, it's it, it's on pace to be one of the most popular, if not the most popular, Fire Emblem games, which seems to be a running theme with uh, with games on Switch. Uh, moving on. Um, this is interesting here. Uh, Nintendo plans on making more 3DS franchises available on Switch. Now, uh, Furukawa said this during the Q&A section. He didn't really specify uh, what 3DS franchises we're talking about. We already have like a Brain Age style game coming over, but there's still like Nintendogs out there uh, that's been more of a 3DS, DS kind of thing. Uh, there is still Rhythm Heaven uh, and stuff like that. So there's a lot of 3DS franchises. I mean, Kid Icarus Uprising, as an example, could get a sequel. Kid, Kid 
Jedi Curse Uprising 2 that was only on uh, 3DS. So uh, that's encouraging uh, for just having a wider slate of games on Switch from Nintendo that they're actually looking to bring more 3DS franchises over to Switch. Uh, and obviously they're trying to convey the appeal of the light system, which I know Nintendo, I mean, if, if nothing else, this is them confirming that, hey, um, the light is our 3DS replacement. All right. Uh, moving on, the Nintendo Switch itself has now sold 41.67 million units. 41.67 million. Holy crud. Um, you know, that, that already slates it as the fourth best-selling Nintendo system of all time, just behind the SNES. Uh, the software sales are at 246.01 million, which, again, would place it at number four. And this is just for home console systems. Remember, Nintendo does call a Switch a home console system. It is likely going to pass the SNES and the NES at some point in the next couple of years. Uh, will it ever get touch the Wii numbers? I have no idea. Will it be a 100 million unit seller? I don't know. We're less than three years in, and it's already at 40 you extrapolate that to six or seven, it's going to be pretty close if the sales keeps trending upwards. Um, but yeah, uh, what we also learned is uh, the Switch Lite sales. For those that are wondering how well the Switch Lite has sold, it shifted 1.95 million units since it launched. So that's actually pretty good. It is still behind uh, the original Switch in that same time period, but that is totally fine and acceptable. They moved around 6 million or so total Switches this year. They have a projected of 18 million. Obviously, they have two quarters to go, and we know the third quarter is their biggest quarter of the year because that includes the holiday period when they end up making usually 60 to 70% of their sales for the whole year. All right, so that's impressive news in that of itself, but let's move on to the next story, and that is that Nintendo reconfirms release dates for upcoming major Switch games, Breath of the Wild 2, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, the, so this is, let's see here, uh, Ring Fit Adventure, which has already come out, um, Luigi's Mansion 3, which, hey, it releases today, everyone. Go pick up Luigi's Mansion 3 uh, if you're a fan of Luigi's Mansion, I guess. I don't know. I know some people, um, the bit black, might not be uh, the biggest fan of this version of the game. But, hey, um, I really liked it at E3. Still has potential to be game of the year. So uh, let's see what happens there. Um, obviously, Pokemon Sword and Shield reconfirmed as uh, as the 15th. Um, the new brain training game coming to Switch is is confirmed for the end of December on uh, you know December 27th. Tokyo Mirage Sessions, the FE. Encore edition is confirmed for January 1st, uh, or sorry, January uh, January 17th, I should say. Animal Crossing New Horizons, again, confirmed for March uh, 20th. Xenoblade Chronicles the Definitive Edition, no release date except that it is coming next year at some point. Famicom, Tentai Club, Kiata, Kiishi, Yurishi, Nutatsu, Shouju. That might just be a Japanese-only thing. Uh, after all, it has Famicom in the title. Uh, 2020, Bayonetta 3 is still TBA. No surprise there. Metroid Prime 4, still TBA. We just did a video on that recently where it looks like Metroid Prime 4 is quite a ways away. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel is what they're officially calling it, TBA. So those are three big titles, TBA. I think we'll hear about Bayonetta 3 potentially at the Game Awards, so pay attention to that in December. Uh, but otherwise, uh, Metroid Prime 4, Breath of the Wild sequel, I think next time we have a chance to hear about it is sometime next year. You never know. Maybe a, a surprise direct happens and Nintendo teases Breath of the Wild and gives us a, a release date. But right now, all TBA. Uh, but even 2020, having Animal Crossing, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, and Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, I realize two of those are ports. But it's still nice and it's early and we're not even to 2020 yet. So um, I think all those three games will probably be in the first six months of the year. Um, you know, and they have the United States states as well, which are exactly the same um, and the same for Europe. So... Uh, there you go. That's kind of the upcoming release slate from Nintendo side of things. This does not include third parties. Um, next up, uh, Nintendo has hints that it has ditched game development on the 3DS. Uh, and a, a lot of that is just going back to that quote about uh, leveraging evergreen titles and all that. It says, for the Nintendo 3DS family, we will continue to fully utilize the platform's rich software library to appeal to consumers purchasing game hardware for the first time while continuing to drive sales of evergreen titles that leverage the hardware install base. Basically, um, we're not really going to be making any new games. They already previously talked about bringing 3DS franchises to Switch, uh, but we're going to leverage basically how cheap the system is and that we have amazing evergreen titles um, to try to move units during the holidays. But, and, and to be fair, they really have some modest goals for 3DS sales for this fiscal year. Um, I mean, we're, we're talking like 
planning to sell like a million 3ds's for the whole year uh they are definitely not uh looking at 3ds as a seller anymore they've clearly abandoned the system uh but if you're looking for a nintendo platform that's going to have steep discounts this holiday look no further than 3ds don't be surprised to see really steep discount discounts on the 2ds 3ds xl uh, the, the new 3DS, 3D, uh, like the whole line across the board is going to have massive discounts along with a lot of 3DS games. So if you're looking to, uh, you know, get your hands on a whole bunch of 3DS games that maybe you've missed out on or whatever, this holiday is going to be a good time for that, uh, guaranteed. Switch, I don't know how many deals there's going to be for Switch, but uh, 3DS is definitely going to be heavily discounted because Nintendo really just doesn't care too much about that platform. Uh, they've kind of it's it's pretty much dead in the water to them but uh hey p parents are usually willing to pick up you know super cheap video game systems from a reputable company so who knows maybe it'll surprise this holiday but switch will definitely be leading the way for nintendo um the most popular switch light color for those who want to know is turquoise that is what nintendo said there's three colors out there turquoise is the most popular that might change of course when when uh pokemon comes out because there is a pokemon themed version and if it's it's probably limited edition so it might not last too long but if it's not limited edition and they're just going to keep selling it and selling it and selling it that could become the most popular version uh so there you go that is the end of the stories for today so i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in this was a lot of information to take in what the, the big takeaway from it basically is that nintendo is killing it absolutely killing it so uh that's that's amazing I, I still can't believe the switch is basically at 42 million in sales in less than three years less than three years that is, is insane to me by the time we get to the end of this fiscal year switch has a chance to be above 50 million units in three years that's just insane to me that's playstation 4 levels of success that's Wii levels of success that's uh you know ds 3ds like we're, we're, we're talking some pretty popular platforms here that the switch is comparing favorably to so uh, we will have to wait and see what happens down the line but for now uh thank you so much for tuning in happy halloween to everyone uh if you're wondering what my kids are dressing up for as halloween uh my daughter my my oldest my daughter she's dressing up as jesse from toy story uh, and she's going to be carrying around a Woody doll because she has a Woody doll and she really isn't. I want to she carries around the Buzz Lightyear one. We have a Buzz Lightyear one too. Uh, my son is dressing up as a dinosaur. Uh, my, my middle child, Aiden, he's going to be a dinosaur. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and my youngest son, there's some, there's some hope for him yet. He's dressing up as Batman. Heck yeah. Batman. Of course, there's hope for all of my children, but uh, if I want a kid to be nerdy, it might be my youngest that has a chance. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, happy Halloween. If you have kids, happy trick-or-treating with them tonight. Stay safe. Uh, and if you're going to some Halloween parties, you know, have a good time on me. Uh, the, the, the soonest Halloween party I might be going to is tomorrow night uh, if things work out. But whatever. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.